Oh, it's a great emotion for me and honor receiving this award from this university. It recognizes my scientific work, in my academic career, and uh, this uh, award is uh, delivered by a university where there is one of the most important schools in powder metals in Europe, headed by Professor Torarda. And uh, this means that uh, this university has competences, a qualification in this specific area where I'm working on since years. And for this reason, I appreciate even more this award from this university. Oh, my collaboration started several years ago in the early 90s. Um, I remember I met Professor Torarba in International Congress in the United States. We were quite young researchers at that time, and then we established a friendly and scientific cooperation from the beginning. And cooperation has been strengthened in the years since we all participated in the Organized Chair project. It is a fantastic experience, cooperation between uh, three and then four universities and one industry, Swedish industry. And uh, along this 15-year uh, cooperation, we have done quite a huge amount of work, very interesting, we learn a lot, we teach a lot, it has been fantastic. So my cooperation with this university lasts uh, more than 20 years. I mostly work in powder metallurgy, and uh, my work is uh, along two directions at the moment. Uh, I have a very interesting cooperation with uh, important industry, GKN Sintermetals. We are working on the development of materials and uh, processes for the production of high-performance mechanical parts for application in the car industry. And this is uh, technological research. Since a few years, I started a work mostly on base research to study the mechanisms of uh, the two main steps of the powder metallurgy process, which are the powder compaction and sintering. And uh, I'm strongly involved in it, since I have the dream to write an updated theory of the two processes. Powder metallurgy has a great potentiality since uh, in principle, we can produce uh, any kind of material because there aren't uh, the limitations we have in foundry and we have in other technologies. We can mix different elements, different constituents, obtaining new materials that can not be produced through other technological routes for different applications, not only in the mechanical industry, but even for uh, biomedical area, for to produce electrical components, magnetic components. So it is characterized by quite a great flexibility in terms of raw material that can be used. Of course, there are some limitations deriving from the cost of the raw material, but uh, research is uh, developing in order to um, propose new methods for the production of raw material in order to make raw material cost effective in the future. This is one side. On the other side, powder technology is uh, proposing uh, new processes within this uh, uh, area from the conventional press and sinter process. But uh, today we have uh, different sintering processes. We have additive manufacturing technologies that belong to powder metallurgy. And, uh, through this technology, we can produce really new materials, new structures. So I believe that the power of the material has, will have a great future.